Oh yeah, Mary Sue kicked ass. That's my girl. That's my girl. Alright, hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of our Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play. So, yeah, if you have not watched the last three parts, this is part four. I feel like I'm spitting these out very fast, but that's just because that's my plan from the beginning. I want to upload two to three three at the most a week of this series just because I love it <laughs> I'm having so much fun playing it a lot of people are enjoying it and also it's just it's so involved it has so many families that we will be playing with so it's kind of like each episode is a whole nother series because it's a whole nother family a whole nother dynamic so anyways I have put my upload schedule down below I've tweaked it a little bit um, of series is about to be wrapping up so be sure you check that out I do upload daily knock on wood unless you know something happens I've been pretty consistent with it but anyways yeah let's go ahead and jump into today's family we will be playing with so we're going to be playing with the pleasant family which is my favorite <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie I've been dying to play with them so yeah we're gonna be playing with the pleasant family Daniel Pleasant Mary Sue Pleasant Lilith Pleasant and Angela Pleasant their family bio says, On the surface, Daniel and Mary Sue Pleasant seem to have the perfect life, but is their love a flimsy facade? 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 <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I know how to say it, but I can't. <laughs> and can Angela and Lilith make the right choices when it comes to love? Alright, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Alright guys, so here we are. <laughs> when you jump into their household, it says, Who says good help is hard to find? Daniel has his eye on the maid and wants a little romance, but will his decision threaten family unity? Mr. Daniel. Mm -mm. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and give a tour of their house and do our usual family introduction. So let's go on up their house it's this nice little tudor style house all right i did a recreation of it on my channel if you want to go check that out but anyways let's go on down below here to the first floor not that far okay all right so you come in we have their little entryway here with their living room and then here is the master bedroom and bath and then there's a bath in the hallway they have this nice little workout area over here here is their kitchen and their dining room. And then out back we have a swing set and we have a pool. So yeah. And upstairs is the girl's bedroom. We have the hallway. This is Angela's bedroom. It's very pink, very girly. Here's their bathroom. And then here is Lilith's room, which is obviously the complete opposite. <laughs> All right, so anyways, let's talk about Daniel here. All right, so Daniel, his wants, he is a romance. He has the, wait, huh? Yes, he has the romance aspiration, but he wants to woohoo with Kaylin, kiss Mary Sue, hug Angela, and have three loves at once. Mm-mm-mm, shame on you. He <laughs> fears are to get rejected for woohoo with Kaylin, get caught cheating by Mary Sue, and that Lilith gets a D report card. So his relationships... You would think that their marriage is not doing very well, but actually, it's pr doing pretty decent. They're friends. Um, they are married, so, I mean, they're 75 and 71. It's, it's not too bad. Um, and then he does not have a very good relationship with his daughters at all. Um, even Angela, who is favored among the twins, um, she still doesn't have a very good relationship with her parents, and he is actually in the negatives with Lilith, but... You know, she has some bad behavior issues, but we'll we'll understand why in just a second. So, he is also um, in a relationship with the maid, Kaylin Langerick. Um, they are in love. <laughs> They're best friends. So he has a way better relationship with her than his wife. And then his sister, and then his brother-in-law, and then his niece. And then he is enemies with his daughter, Angela's boyfriend, Dustin Broke. In his career, he is the assistant coach. He's in the athletic career. Um, he makes pretty freaking good money. 1488 Like, wow. <laughs> his skills, mechanical, uh, charisma, and body. Dang. Get it, Daddy. Look at look at that body skill. <laughs> uh, his symbology. Well, that, okay, this is weird, though. Here's the thing. It shows their fitness here, right? So, he is like, what, what was it? Like, level 9 in the body? But he's borderline 
fat, considered fat or o- overweight, I guess you would say, in The Sims. Hmm. So his sim bio says, since his father Jeff died without achieving his dream of going to Mars, Daniel has felt an overwhelming guilt. I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> and he is a uh, Virgo. Here is his personality here. Um, he is interested in money, politics. He's interested in crime. Um, I don't know if he is interested in, like, being criminally active or he just likes, like, crime. Like, me, like, true crime stuff. But, I mean, his I mean, his daughter is kind of like a criminal and so is his other daughter's boyfriend that he hates. So, that's interesting. I don't know if that means he's... I, I don't know. <laughs> um, he's into the entertainment, health, um, travel, sports. Uh, that's pretty much it. And let's see his memories here. We have his memories of him growing up. Um, he got rejected for his very first kiss by Mary Sue. So apparently the relationship didn't start off very well. They became best friends, but then I guess she friends on him for a second and rejected his his kiss. Oh, anyways, I guess she gave in. They ended up going steady. She finally let him kiss her, lay one on her. Um, grew up, he got a job. He fell in love with Mary Sue. Got promoted. Um, then he got engaged and married, which is a negative experience for him because he is a romance him he has that aspiration um his family his sister got engaged he woohooed with mary sue and had the twins angela and lilith he potty trained angela um you know he he helped angela they angela has all her skills which we'll talk about that in a second when we get to the girls but they did help her with her skills but unfortunately has no memories of helping lilith with her skills which is very sad so anyways um, it says Angela grew up well and Lilith grew up badly. He kissed Kaylin for the first time and then he fell in love with her and had an affair. And that unf- that affair is still ongoing. So yeah, that is Mr. Daniel here. And over here, Mary Sue. She has a fortune aspiration and she wants to earn some money. She wants to talk to Angela, earn $100, and talk to Lilith. Her fears is the repo man coming, having a bad conversation with Angela, and having a bad conversation with Lilith. All right. So her relationships is, of course, she doesn't have that terrible of a relationship with her husband, but she also does not know he is cheating on her. Same with her kids. I'm not very good with either one of them, but definitely in the negatives um, with Lilith because Angela is the preferred child. Cassandra is her best friend, so she knows Mortimer, her sister-in-law, brother-in-law, her niece, and Coral Oldie and Herb Oldie is her parents. Okay, and her career, she is an intern in the politics career. She makes 420, so she does not make as much money as him. She doesn't have a lot of skills either. Her memories... Um, it's just her growing up, um, she became best friends with Cassandra, so apparently they've been childhood friends, which is, that's cute. She started going steady with Daniel, kissed him for the first time, fell in love, got engaged, got married, woohoo, had the babies, and then of course we see, you know, we teach Angela how to talk, but there's no memories of teaching Lilith how to talk, so of course Angela grew up well, and Lilith grew up badly, because y'all are terrible parents. She got a promotion, and once again, they grew up good and grew up badly. All right, so let's see. Um, oh, I forgot to tell us, Dan- uh, tell everybody Daniel's turn-ons. Her turn-ons is unemployed. <laughs> okay. Uh, and charismatic, and her turn-off is a great cook. Girl, what? <laughs> that don't even make any sense. Okay, her symbology is she is a Gemini, so that's her personality. Um, she's almost fit, considered fit. And her bio says, active and, f- Whoa. active and friendly, Mary Sue believes people are inherently good. She enjoys pottery, or used to, when she had the time. So, yeah. And her interests, politics, money, culture, food. Okay, so she enjoys food. Okay, she enjoys, she enjoys food, but she doesn't like a man that can cook good. What the hell? <laughs> Paranormal, travel, work, and whatnot. Okay, let's go back. I want to see his turn-ons real quick. Uh, his turn-ons are hats, <laughs> custom hair, and cologne is his turn-off. Interesting. Okay. So, moving on to the girls. Um, Lilith is the oldest. I mean, just kidding. This is Angela. Oh, my God. Angela is the oldest of the twins. 
she has the popularity aspiration, and her wants are to win a game against Dustin, have a party, get an A-plus report card, meet someone new, her fears, break up with Dustin, lose a game against Dustin, and beat enemies with Dustin. Alright, so her relationships, not very good with her parents, terrible with her sister, they are considered enemies. Um, she is going steady and crushing on Dustin Broke, but they are also best friends, so she knows her niece, um, that her, oh, cousin, not, yeah, cousin, not niece, right? Yeah, cousin. <laughs> um, and then she knows Dark Dreamer, she knows her grandparents, and her aunt and uncle. Oh, Kenoki. Alright, so her career, she is a B student. Um, so she's not doing too bad. She's doing, she's doing all right. Her symbology, she is an Aquarius. So that's her personality. She's pretty fit. Um, her bio, Angel is patient and dutiful. She dreams of being a fishing boat captain. Hmm. <laughs> Why though? Why? She's interested, semi-interested in politics. She has no interest in crime, even though she's dating a criminal. So, hmm, interesting. She's interested in the environment, entertainment, culture, fashion, um, school, animals, and travel. Alright, so her memories um, growing up. See, she was taught um, how to walk and talk by her parents. And her sister was not. She grew up well. Met Dustin. Lilith grew up badly. Made best friends with Dustin. She grew up well again. And she went steady with Dustin. So not much going on there. Her turn-ons is cologne and gr gray hair. Oh my god, what? She, oh my gosh, she wants her sugar daddy, okay. Her turn-offs is black hair. <laughs> what? Okay, and then here is Lilith, which Lilith is my favorite. I favor her just because... She just got the wrong end of the stick growing up. Her parents are terrible, and then her sister hates her, and she hates her sister, and there's, I mean, no wonder. No wonder. But anyway, she also has the popularity aspiration. She wants to sneak out with Dirk. I was about to say Dustin. I had to catch myself. She wants to meet someone new, get a job in the athletic career, and make a friend. Her fears is to have something stolen, be enemies with Dirk, and get busted. Okay, so her relationships, uh, not good with her parents and sisters. She is going steady crushing and best friends with Dirk. She knows her cousin, her grandparents, aunt and uncle, and she doesn't really have a very good relationship. It's just, just kind of just acquainted, I guess you would say, with Dustin Broke. Um, she is a D minus student in school, so she is flunking. <laughs> she's flopping ter terribly. Um, her symbology. She is an Aquarius, of course. Um, she she's not very like fit, even though she wants to join the the fitness career or athletic career. So hmm. it says Lilith had it harder than her twin sister, so she says, which you know just isn't fair. I agree, girl. I I agree. I really do. I'm on your side here. So she is very interested in crime, food, health, culture, sports, paranormal, travel, toys, sci-fi. Um, let's see, her memories, no memories of her learning how to be potty trained, she never learned how to talk, and she never learned how to walk, that is just really sad, um, and so it says she grew up badly, but she watched her sister grow up well, um, she made best friends with Dirk, once again, grew up badly, had her first kiss, snuck out, got busted, went steady, and made out with Dirk. And her symbology, her turn-ons is underwear, ooh, <laughs> and glasses, her turn-off is mechanical. Alright, so before we get started into the gameplay, I hope y'all don't mind the introductions to the family. I just, I think all this stuff is very important to like know them and their character. And this is just the, like details, little details that I miss so much in The Sims 4. So let's go into story mode here. So we can see this is um, Daniel and Mary Sue's wedding. Here is the birth of the girls. Here is the birthday party um, of the girls, which here here is really sad, okay? Um, I will zoom it in so you can see, but here is Angela blowing at her candles, and over there in the corner, you can see Lilith sitting on the couch, neglected, which is freaking heartbreaking. Um, here they are out here doing their thing. Looks like their parents are arguing inside. Um, here is Lilith. Uh, looks like she's loving loving on slow dancing or something with dark so yeah that is all of the memories we have all right so let's go ahead and jump into this gameplay shall we 
All right, so it is 7 a.m. The girls are probably about to go to school. Oh my god. And here they are slapping the hell out of each other. Just get in a good, quick round before school. Get it out of your system, girls. <laughs> Mary Sue and Daniel are surprisingly over here, like, being all lovey-dovey and loving on each other. Oh, oh, they just became best friends. Oh, and Lilith's crying. I mean, yeah. What the hell, Angela? We, I mean, what a bitch! Y'all, I, I know some people favor Angela just because she's like the good sim. She's not a criminal, but I mean, she's a biatch. She is rude. You see, she is egging this on. She is, she's the one doing this. She is coming up and slapping her. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, get her. Yes, that's what you get. Don't come over here and slap me. I mean, I was minding my own business. And then, I mean, you hurt my feelings. I walk away, and then you just, you keep on, Angela, and I'm going to beat your ass, girl. <laughs> Oh my god, and they're just like witnessing this, like, yes, I mean, this is all a result of y'all's terrible parenting, I hope y'all know this, so, congratulations, congratulations, <laughs> oh my god, so anyways, yeah, it's 8 o'clock, what time do they go to school, is it 9 or is it 8, oh, it's 9, so they have an hour before they go to school, I mean, once they stop fighting, I mean, they need to take care of themselves here, come and use the restroom, oh, so Mary Sue is going to work, Alright, looks like Daniel, oh, wait, they're going to work now. Oh, okay. I, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. It takes them an hour to get there, so they leave at 8, but school doesn't start until 9. Okay, I see. Okay, so anyways, he, he's home alone by himself. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, he is going to use the restroom. I was about to say, is she getting out? Is she, is she coming back already? <laughs> Alright, so anyways, I already know what's going to happen shortly, and y'all do too. Uh, the maid's going to show up. Kaylin, you know, his, his lover is about to show up, and some things are probably about to go down. We'll see. Alrighty. So, oh, Mr. Hubble, what the hell? Are, I've never seen them come up in somebody's house before. I did not invite you in, Rod. Get out. <laughs> anyways, Kaylin, the maid, just showed up, so let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. I believe she's going to... I'm not even really sure if there's anything for her to clean out. Yeah, I mean, clean out. Clean. There's nothing for her to do. So, now that I'm done with work, would you like to hang out? And he's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, stop reading that. Let's come over here and let's go ahead and suck her face. <laughs> My God. That's so gross. All right. So, if you guys don't remember or you're not familiar, we found out it... Oh. Fail. <laughs> Oh god, so anyways, we found out in the first episode of the series when we played with Don Lothario that Caitlyn is also like in love with him and in a relationship with him. So basically, I mean, she offers her services alright, that's for sure. So like, I would say, oh, well, she's just in love with Daniel and she can't help herself and no, she's like playing Daniel too. So like, Daniel's over here just thinking he's all that because he's hooking up with a maid and having an affair but he probably has no idea i know he has no idea that she is actually seeing someone else on the side as well so the player is getting played interesting so anyways yeah let's have them um um can we like relax how does this work i forget how do you woohoo with them i can never get this to work ever so maybe if he like lays in the bed, can we like ask her to come over here with us? Propose, move in. Oh no, let's let's not do that. Entertain, dirty jokes. Is she gonna come relax with us? No. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here we are. The controller has a stack of paperwork on his desk that Mary Sue has been asked to read through and assign priority levels to the task. About halfway through the stack, she finds some speeches that the controller has been asked to edit. Mary Sue has an okay eye for syntax, and she knows how busy the controller is, so she could try editing them herself or scan the speeches into her word processor and run the grammar check on them. Um, so I would do the grammar check just because I'm a lazy like that. So, I mean, let's go ahead and do the grammar check. 
It says, Mary Sue scans the docu documents, documents, plugs them into her word processor, and lets the built-in grammar check do its thing. Upon completion, she sends the documents off to the controller without even double-checking, trusting in the wisdom of microscotch, <laughs> microscotch's grammar check. Apparently, the controller, trusting in Mary Sue, sent the speeches off without reviewing them either. Because a few hours later, the controller gets an irate phone call from someone at the legislator's office. It seems as though the grammar check somehow managed managed to replace the entire contents of the speeches with the first two acts of Titus Andronicus and an and, in, <laughs> and as inexplicable as it may be, Mary Sue has been fired for her mistake. Oh shoot. Okay. So Mary Sue's coming home. Yep, she's here. Ooh, okay, so we gotta have them busted. I, I wanna bust that. It's, it's happening, y'all. We're gonna make out. I mean, we're gonna go ahead and have this going on so Mary Sue can walk in and witness this because, yeah, I mean, drama. Hello, why Why else would we, why would we choose anything different than drama? Who is this out here? Bailey, Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, so, poor thing. She's just been fired from work. She's upset. She wants to come home and talk to her husband, be loved on, be told everything is going to be okay. She wants a shoulder to cry on, and instead, she's about to witness her husband having an affair. <laughs> Mary Sue, girl, I'm so sorry. I just, here I am, destroying families. It's just what I do best here. All right. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 he's gone, he's gone nuts. You did this to yourself, like seriously? He's like having an emotional breakdown. The cookie doctor is about to come to help him out, but I mean, really, you did this to yourself? And then Kaylin's like just unfazed. She's like, whatever. Yeah, I mean, really? She is freaking human right now, dude. She is just, oh my God. And I mean, really? How? Jesus, you did this to yourself. Don't even play that crap with me. Mary Sue. She's waiting to slap him again. Why don't you come over here? I mean, let's fight this hoe. I mean, you... Girls, if your man... If your man cheats, okay? You know, it's, 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 it's not just his fault. Unless she completely, honestly did not know he had a wife. And in this case, this, this hoe, she knew. She knew. Okay, so the kids are coming home. Oh my god, and bringing Dustin. This is a bunch of drama. Holy hell. Cassandra's out here. This is crazy. Oh my god, so. No wonder these kids have problems. She's running in like, Dad, I made an A plus on my report card. I'm doing awesome. And he's like, Wow, that's great. But I mean, what the hell? Your mom's. Go, go in the bedroom, girl. Your mom is just fighting the maid. Oh my lord. Oh dear, this is just, this is my favorite family. Oh yeah, Mary Sue kicked ass. That's my girl. That's my girl. So they are now enemies. Oh my god. She is, she's gonna kill her. Holy crap. Oh my god. And Daniel is just like, whatever. Oh, he doesn't like Dustin. He's gonna buy off with $50. What does buy off mean? Like, leave, I'm gonna tell you, leave, leave my daughter alone for $50. All right, all right, I'll leave you alone for now. <laughs> oh my god, he's like, dude, this is just not the day. Just, just leave. Uh, he's, he's like, nah, bro, I'm a, a psych. <laughs> oh my god, this is. There's so much going on right now. Oh my god, seriously. Okay, y'all need to calm down. Okay, trick. You need to leave. Just ask her to leave. Bye. Just leave. Uh, the girls are just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, this is nothing new. What is, what is happening to her? Is she just, oh my god, Cassandra? Okay, in the last part, Cassandra was left at the altar. Look at her face. Oh my god, so apparently she's not over it. Oh my, oh my god, this is insane. What the hell is happening right now? I can't even. There's too much going on. Oh my god, y'all. I really just, I don't even know where to go from here. She's out here dancing. They don't even... And she's gonna come over here and join? This is too much. Please leave. I said leave. I mean, I will call you later, honey. We're good. But, I mean, Jesus. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my wife. And how in the world is their relationship? Wait, did she even get the chance? Oh, okay. So, his relationship with her is still 100. But she is absolutely, like, just 
not it's not good it's not good okay okay so anyways i don't think lilith knows well she's not very good friends with dustin but because they have common interests i feel like that they would be friends <laughs> mary sue i'm very excited that i tried this music and dance activity that was a lot of fun oh i'm glad you're having fun so anyways um, I don't think Angela's gonna be very happy that Lilith is over here talking to her boyfriend. So, once again, she's gonna come over here. And not slap her. That's a little dramatic for, you know, talking to, you know, her boyfriend. But she, oh, did I say torment? Did I click that? I'm gonna have to go back and watch. I'm pretty sure I did. And she's automatically going to torment her sister. Like, really? You're really gonna come over here and put your freaking calls and come over here and just talk to my boyfriend? Like, hell no, girl. Back off. Mary Sue is dancing it out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, y'all know who she reminds me of? Oh, my gosh. Anybody watch Grey's Anatomy? You know, Christina? You know, they dance her and Mary to like dance stuff out she looks like freaking she really does she looks like christina and she's just dancing her emotions out she's just letting it all out okay it looks like daniel is serving freaking sandwiches in the bathroom he's eating in the bathroom because he's alone and he's ruined his family and wow all right guys so anyways this is a lot going on if i do say so myself <laughs> Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up with everything that's going on right now. I knew this family was going to have, like, a lot of crap go down. So, I'm probably going to go ahead and end this part, like, very shortly. Um, but we have some decisions to make. We have a lot of fun is going to be had with this family. I can go ahead and guarantee you there's going to be plenty of drama. Um, so what is going to happen between Mary Sue and Daniel? Is Mary Sue going to forgive Daniel? Is Daniel going to, I mean, continue to see... He wants to be BFF with her. I don't think so. Is he going to continue to, like, see Kaylin, you know, at the expense of his wife and his marriage? Um, are the girls ever going to reconcile? I mean, are we going to turn Willis' life around? Have her, you know, come to the realization that she does not want to go down this track just because her parents... And look at them. I... <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell? Synchronized family dancing in the midst of all this drama, y'all. I can't. And these two over here clicking. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is, look, like their relationship is going up very fast. This is not good. Oh, I saw some drama. Alright, so, anyways, guys. Wow. This is a lot going on. I'm going to go ahead and end this right here because they are delusional. They are getting down. They don't even, I don't think they realize what has just happened. It's just too much. This family is nuts anyways guys <laughs> we've got to find mary sue a job so we're gonna do that in the next part and yeah we're well, not the next part the next time we play with the pleasant family we will find her a new job and see what is next for this family she's doing the michael jackson thriller dance over here so anyways guys yeah i will see y'all later hope y'all enjoyed this part and it was pretty entertaining so the next part we will be playing with the broke family so we'll be seeing a little bit of insight into dustin he's over here joining their dance which is insane please please somebody turn this off turn this off i can't this is enough 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 <laughs> all right guys i will see y'all later thank you so much for watching if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what you think about the part what you would like to see and subscribe if you have not and i will talk to you guys later if we don't stay